So you guys started really getting serious together on that Selena album? Yeah, it was like a little bit before that, like a year before that we started writing together. Right. But then when we did Good For You, um, which we just wrote on like a Sunday morning, just me, her, and this producer, Nick Monson, um, and Selena heard that and kind of freaked out in a good way. Yeah. Um, and recorded it, and we got to, we met her through that, and then that kind of like was exactly what Selena was looking for. Cause she's a very in charge pop star. Like mm -hmm. she knows exactly what she wants to say and what she wants to sound like and what she wants to do. And so she was like, that's my vision, that's the song. Um, and so from that, she brought us into her project. Um, and we like went to Mexico with her on this insane, amazing trip. Oh, wow. And wrote songs there. And um, so through that is where we really got into the whole Selena world, which is what Obviously, Fall Out Boy Centuries was amazing, and I guess last night, I, I don't know anything about sports, but if Kobe Bryant, or is that his name? But, uh, is that his name? You're in the wrong <laughs> studio for anyone uh, to know, but I believe we do know that Kobe Bryant is a person. Okay, so Lady Red, was... can I get the black opinion? <laughs> oh yes, that's his name, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> okay, so yes. it was his last yes. game last night? Uh -huh. Yes, darling. And he walked out to Centuries. Wow. Which is, I, so like all the, like, the seven straight people I know, my phone exploded <laughs> um, when that happened. But um, So that was amazing, but good for you and the Selena thing was like the first, like, pop pop thing you know right. number one on pop radio so that that relationship with selena and that song kind of changed that's when I, like last june that's when everything like fully uh -huh. changed yeah and then when you're in the studio so like you go down to your selena mexico vacation <laughs> and well and selena is like you know i've been really feeling like this and that she tell you what she wants to be mm -hmm. singing about yeah like, she knows exactly what she wants to sing about uh -huh. um so you know the one song we wrote like the the title song from her album the, the, um whatever you call that, the title of her album, the right. song, um, Revival. Like, she knew exactly what it wanted to be about, what she wanted to say, uh, and then we just, like, just help her figure it out. just pull all pieces together yeah. and start playing it out. Exactly. And how much of the day are you working, how much of the day are you just being like, let's have some bullshit, hey, Selena! <laughs> let's call Justin and prank him! No. <laughs> <laughs> You're not pranking Justin? It'll be like, here's a great idea. We are not. Call Demi Lovato <laughs> and order 140 pizzas to her house. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> um, I would say that um, we... We only wrote at night, so like okay. all day long in Mexico, we were like vibing. seeing the sights, vibing, oh, the talking, thing. hearing stories in the ocean, um, having paparazzi take horrible pictures of me, like <laughs> bending over the top Oh no! Not, not knowing that they were there because they were like two miles out. Right, because they are the, the super, the super like Justin Bieber dick pic angle, <laughs> like twenty <laughs> oh, miles away God. with a huge lens. This show is gonna give me so <laughs> much trouble. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so you start writing for Selena. It's yeah. pop, pop dreams come true. Dreams, and true. then is that when it starts to go with Gwen? Um, we had like um, the I think before the Gwen. Oh no, we did write. Start working with Gwen there, but we also were doing the uh, the whole Haley Steinfeld EP. Oh right, in yeah. There and that Love Myself song did amazing things for everybody. Thanks for writing a song about ladies touching themselves. Isn't good that stuff. Good? They got. They have to embrace. Ladies so should be proud and embrace their sexuality. Well, my, my whole thing, as I try to as much as I can, is like give women, especially young women, strength in their songs yeah. and make the men vulnerable. Uh huh. To try to like my subtle way of keeping everything like progressive and queer and yeah. um, slight, very subtly political. Right. Um, so good for you, even like where she's, obviously I want to look good for you, but in the verses it's very clear, that, you know, I'm 14 karat, I'm a marquee diamond, like the woman is very confident and secure in exactly who she is, so it's okay if she wants to turn it out for her man every now and then. Yeah. And then Love Myself is just a full-on female masturbation anthem. I mean, gotta do it, gotta gonna admit. Since gotta Britney breathed on us or whatever the hell the last lady masturbation anthem was. That's good. You gotta, you gotta get him going. I mean, you've gotta feel pretty excited that, you know, as a kid who hated pop music, I was like, I don't wanna listen to this, I would never. Mm -hmm. And then to have those two albums that kinda started to turn you on to pop music, yep. Gwen's Love Angel Music Baby, yep. and Britney Blackout, and then there you are. You have done your research. Yeah, honey, this is Hey <laughs> Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say hey to you without knowing what's up. You have done your, yeah, it's true, I hated pop music. Like if my teenage self knew what I was doing now, I would be 
my teenage self would be fucking furious. Uh, like, you sell out, you lose her, you've ruined everything, mm. everyone hates you. And that's when you write a check and then send it <laughs> back into time and be like, buy yourself something at Hot Topic, kid. <laughs> See you in 20. <laughs> um, <laughs> but then, of course, yeah, Gwen, Love Angel Music Baby, mm. and Britney Blackout. I was like, wait, this shit's actually really awesome. Yeah. Um, and then kind of the idea of like, if I can still be the person I want to be and make music that the whole world hears, then that's actually just as subversive and that's just as political and that's just as queer. Yeah, um, agreed. Because uh, there are some amazing queer songwriters, obviously, in history, blah, blah, but most of them were in the closet when they started their careers. Yeah. And I've, I've been out of the closet since 1994. Oh, yes, you have. 14 years old, there darling. Go, honey. She, cheers to that. <laughs> cheers to cheers that. your little queer ass. God bless you. Thanks, mom and dad. They're the best. Yeah. Yeah. Were they a supportive uh, parents? Oh my god. They were like, good. Like, oh, cool. You're gay. Awesome. See you tomorrow. All oh, right. Best. Yeah. That's the way to go. Just the best. Just the, the best. And my brothers, my older, like they're all jocks and older than me, and they were so supportive. I lucked out like big time. That's dreamy. Yeah. Hey. 